Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Yeye's Corner, and I'm just filming a very, very quick intro to this video. Um, I'm showing you guys how I do my top knot bun on shorter hair with baby hairs, and you know, very quick, very simple for back to school or for any time. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so basically for this hairstyle, what I'm doing is I'm starting out with a braid out. And what I like to do is stretch my curls out some so that my bun can appear bigger and fuller. So what I like to do is just take a wide tooth comb and basically just pick at my roots. Now you guys can do this hairstyle on a wash and go, braid out, twist out, bantu knot. Whatever you want, you can use for this hairstyle. But what I'm using is a braid out because that's what I always use on my hair. And it just makes my hair easier to manage. So next I'm taking water and I'm going to apply this around the perimeter of my head and what I've noticed is if I use water before I put gel or um, any type of what is it uh, edge control on my hair it just works better so I just spray the perimeter and now I'm applying my gel this is one of my favorite gels um, this is a thick and shine gel and it works really really good for my hair I've noticed it helps to make it stronger thicker so I'm just applying this all around the perimeter and it really makes my hair like shiny and nice hold and everything like that. So I'm in love with this product right here. Now I'm taking my boar bristle brush and I'm just going to brush the product in so everything can get nice and smooth and sleek. So go ahead and brush that all in. And you want to brush upwards so that you can form your ponytail or your high bun. And then I'm just taking two Goody Brand scrunchies because my hair is so thick, so I like to just use two scrunchies for this. And then I just wrap it around. Okay, so after I wrap it around, it looks a little something like this. And then I just pull at the hair that is out coming out of the ponytail, which also helps to create it to make it look even bigger. Then I'm just taking some bobby pins, and this is what I'm going to use to help form my top knot bun. Now as you guys can see I take one side of the hair and swoop it to the back and then I take another side of the hair and pull it to the back and that kind of creates this higher up top knot look. But yeah you guys can basically just experiment and try different things with your hair and to see what works the best for when you're forming your bun. So then I just take these and use them to shape everything out. Then next what I do is I start to form my baby hairs so I'm just taking some gel and then I take a little toothbrush as a smaller brush to basically just brush everything back and smooth everything out and then I just take a little more gel and then I concentrate this on doing my baby hairs. I have a full tutorial up on my channel if you guys want to check that out I'll leave it in the description box below. So yeah, I just apply some gel and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what I do. I apply the gel and then I'm just going to take the toothbrush, brush it down and then swoop the different parts of hair that I want for my baby hairs. And that's basically it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a satin scarf and tie your hair down for about 20 to 30 minutes so that everything can form in nicely. Okay, so quickly I decided to um, show you guys what it looks like in better lighting. So, boom, bam, poppy. <laughs> so yeah, this is the end result. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Beat that block.